guys welcome back to my youtube channel for those who are new you're most welcome you love people and uh please consider subscribing and uh, so for today we're gonna be i'm gonna be sharing on the tips i used in passing my nursing school with the uh, honors and uh yeah the tips may be may not work for you or may work for you but this is how i did it yeah please so if you're interested grab a cup of juice or water and sit down and listen one tip on how to pass in nursing is what have a support system yeah this is very important and uh, they will be source of uh, information and encouragement to you and uh, the support system can be your parents your relatives your friends and even most so the most important one is your teacher yeah those are the most important people who can help you pass in nursing yeah because nursing is so draining and uh, if nobody's gonna support you like even supporting you in paying your rents or just helping you when you're so down because i can promise you it's so emotional yeah yeah for me my support system was um my friends Okay, me being the first uh, person to do nursing in my family, it was so hard and uh, draining, but yeah, 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 I graduated. Yeah, so another thing, the second point on about uh, how to pass your nursing school is take notes. Yeah, this is swear by. <laughs> yeah, for me, when I first joined nursing, as I said, I didn't, I wasn't computer smart and it was so hard for me taking notes and everything and uh, my first semester i i was so behind and uh, everything was so draining i don't have notes to refer to apart from the powerpoints yeah because i could not type fast enough to uh, i could not type whatever the teacher was talking so what i will say is yeah, always take notes to whatever your teacher stresses on. So me not being able to type, so I decided that I'll be printing all the PowerPoint. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was so, it was expensive because you will find like this big slice. Uh, the slides were this big, and uh, yeah, the ink. I used to run out of ink most of the time, but it was so helpful to me because at least I would write down, cause yeah i'll write down the notes or whatever the teacher is stressing and uh i will i will use highlighters um i'm a visual learner and uh, i used to have so uh, different highlighters uh, yeah each highlighter had uh, its own importance like if this was um a stress i'll use a red highlighter uh, another advice is inv invest in your printer and uh, invest in buying an ipad especially if you're not good in typing and everything like me the way i wasn't yeah i saved some of my money and i got an ipad yeah so this ipad helped me in taking my notes i have a pencil and i will write on it which saved me money of printing the slides and uh, yeah typing i was I was well sorted yeah yeah so always invest on a good um, ipad and printer yeah they're gonna save you yeah another advice is know how you learn better yeah they are in school there are there are different ways of learning and uh, some other people learn better in groups there uh, are some other people they are loners like you you like studying on your own for me i think i'm a balance of uh, of studying alone and being in a group yeah the only reason i don't like groups is because you may you may be serious and you want to study but one of your friends want to chat and like oh my god i went to this yeah like they'll be talking about their dating life or maybe the new dress they bought or yeah, like uh, there are people who never wanted to study at all and they, they will uh, destroy your life if you just focused on listening to their stories. So know how you study best. That's a very good advice. Yeah, so for me, uh, studying with a group was like 90% no to me because 
yeah i like i have my own pace on how i understand things and uh, i'll rather study alone and yeah i'll rather study alone and uh, once in a while i'll join the groups and uh, you can share ideas so yeah because uh, yeah yeah saying me saying that uh, there are some friends who always will have some resources that you will need especially in your examination so don't don't isolate yourself so much yeah just be smart okay yeah another thing do not procrastinate yeah procrastination is an enemy of success and uh in nursing when you procrastinate on doing something you'll find your you'll find your life so complicated because every day you have different assignments and uh, you have different notes to read about uh, you have clinicals you have yeah it's way too much for you to procrastinate and you'll find things not working well with you and that's when you'll be thinking about quitting <laughs> yeah so please try as much as possible to do everything that you have to do yeah sometimes you'll never get get to do all of them but at, at, at least try your best yeah avoid procrastination yeah yeah another thing you'll understand that when you're doing nursing is like you'll have no social life <laughs> ask me of social life oh my god i yeah, I know most of my friends or people who were not doing nursing thought that I, I didn't want to relate with them because they never understood the they never understood the kind of job I had in school and uh, yeah, I needed more time studying. Yeah, and uh, kudos to everyone who da who goes to school with a family like they have family back home, children, husband cuz it's so much yeah and kudos to you people yeah so yeah just be prepared to to have no social life yeah social life i remember i've not attended a lot of uh occasions that i'm invited with my friends because either they they are inviting me i have work to do i have assignments i have to read ahead of the teacher I have to do this and that. Yeah. Yeah, most of the time even they gave up they gave up invited me to to their functions cuz I'll I'll always have an excuse. Yeah, but once in a while try to to socialize as much as you can, but yeah, don't be surprised if you don't have any social life. Yeah, last but not least is always choose your friends wisely. <laughs> Yeah, in college, you'll be so tempted to to have uh, misleading friends. And uh, yeah, if you don't know your focus, you may end up dropping out. Yeah, because there are this type of friends who they, they'll not be studying in school. But when they go back home, oh my God, they are book homers and they'll be reading. Yeah, yeah. I remember when it's. Uh, these friends who always say I have time to study I browse through my notes how can you browse through your notes especially in nursing yeah yeah so be careful of those people who tell you I only browsed through my notes I skimmed through my notes I did not read the chapter I I did not do this yeah just be careful with them cause if you follow what they're telling you <laughs> my friend yeah, you'll fail. Yeah, I'm telling you this. You'll fail. Yeah, just be smart. Yeah, yeah. Cause nursing, there's a lot. There's a lot to catch up with. Up to now, I know. You you cannot finish them all like studying. Cause the books. Yeah, I'm gonna show you the books. They're this big. <laughs> and uh, just try your best. Do your best, and uh, you'll never fail. Yeah, so guys, those are some of the tips that I used to pass my nursing school with honors. And uh, yeah, I know it can be different. You you can uh, have a different way to study or do the things. But 
I hope you're gonna pick something from my talk and it's gonna help you. Yeah, thank you so guys for staying with me and I'll see you later in another video. Bye-bye.